going straight to the campground, straight from work. You can see I packed the wood for two days camping and I didn't get a whole lot of time to pack the car. So everything is just thrown in. Let me show you what I mean. So everything's just kind of thrown in, but still you can see there's still plenty of space. So when you're car camping, you could just afford to throw everything in. It doesn't have to be neat because you're going to take everything out that you don't need so that's the advantage of car camping above trying to do some stealth camping so today we're going to be at San Onofre campgrounds right by the freeway and if you drove down the five freeway towards San Diego you probably saw some campsites on uh, the beach side and you always wondered who wants to camp by a freeway well I want to try it for the first time View-wise, our camp spot didn't really have a straight shot of the ocean. There was a lot of foliage and bushes and stuff. Despite not having a super view of the ocean, the vegetation was actually very beautiful and it was still very nice. So I got one of the designated RV slots and many of them are RV slots and there are a couple of tent slots. And the drawback that I've discovered of the RV slots is that it's very tiny and they assume you will not put up a tent. So a lot of people in these RV slots, they put tents in the parking lot area, but uh, you could see there's no room for a tent of any kind. Here comes my buddy in a teardrop trailer. He is a six foot five, 250 pound dude, and he fits in that trailer very nicely. And of course, he could not resist trying to lay down in my bed. So if you're six foot five, 250 pounds, uh, the element is probably not the micro camper for you. All right, Santa Nobre State Beach. You can see the shoreline, it's a little rocky, but once you pass the rocks, it gets more sandy and there's definitely people who swim, so it can't be that painful. But there's plenty of great skipping rocks. Behind me is the San Nofi Cliffs. A great spot all right the sun is about to set on our campsite and it's it's a good view uh, we won't be able to see the sun hit the water unfortunately all the campsites here have a fire pit and the fire pits all have this nice grate where you could easily cook on top of so it's a nice addition to these fire pits My buddy was very proud of the camping food that he brought for this trip. So that's the freeway going by. And it, it's, it's a little loud, but it's not deafening loud. Okay, it's the next morning. And as you could see from my tabletop sink top thing, there's plenty of room to throw a bunch of junk. And that's what we did. Of course, my six-footer son is still sleeping, but I just wanted to show you the spot that he slept in. It fits him really nice, and he said he was very comfortable all night. Here's the morning view from my window inside the element.
All right, time to enjoy my view of the bush. <laughs> yes, the bushes are pretty high. So I'm just going to sit on the tabletop instead of the chair part to get a nice morning view with my coffee. On the walking trail that leads to the ocean, you could see uh, some campers realize there is no room for their tent on our little site. So they actually set up the tent in the middle of the trail for the night. We had a daily visitor who came by to eat sunflower seeds that a previous camper probably left behind or maybe was stolen by this little bandit. We decided to drive up the coast a little bit to Dana Harbor and do some fishing in the harbor. We quite caught quite a few spotted bay bass and some rays. We came back and had some chicken and we cooked it up on this uh, little grill that I just bought recently. And it, it's much smaller than my previous grill and it worked out great. And that will end our trip of San Clemente. Off we go back to Orange County.